Welcome to a four-minute trailer exploring the fundamental elements of the collaborative response model. The collaborative response model is a framework to assist schools and school leaders in the establishment of effective school-wide structures to support the needs of all learners. There are three main components to the collaborative response model. First off, collaborative team meetings. These are planned and structured opportunities for all staff working with a particular group of students to meet and discuss student needs and resulting supports. Working as grade level teams, departments, combinations of grades, or a team responsible for a pod of students, these meetings are very formalized and place focus upon the learning needs of students. It is really important that the discussion and collaboration occurs to capitalize upon the strengths of the teaching staff and that collective knowledge that can sometimes go untapped in a school. The collaborative team meetings are the heart and soul of an exemplary collaborative response model. Informing the collaborative team meetings are assessments. It is really essential that you think of the assessments as a way to flag students for conversations. They are not the be-all and end-all in determining student success or failure. There are two main classifications of assessments. First, there are the benchmarks for all students. These are utilized as a common screener to see which students are having difficulty and then work with the teacher assessments that are happening in the classroom to further inform those benchmarks. For those students who are flagged as having difficulty or at risk, we have progress monitoring in place that is happening on a predetermined schedule, whether weekly, every other week, or monthly, to inform us of their continued growth and progress. They also help to inform us if the interventions we are putting in place for students are having an impact. Really important to ensure that our conversations happening at the collaborative team meetings are data informed, utilizing assessments to kickstart the conversation. So our assessments help to answer the question of who we will be talking about. Next, the question of, so what will we do about it surfaces, and the answer exists within our pyramid of interventions. In our model, we establish four tiers of intervention, moving from universal classroom instruction, followed by classroom interventions established by the classroom teacher for our struggling students. Next come our school interventions, that are established followed by our intensive interventions for those students still at risk. Really important that we envision students progressing within the pyramid model with increasing intensity and additional time and support over and above what the classroom instruction traditionally provides. Without that pyramid of interventions in place, we definitely reach a place in the model where conversation can be happening informed by common assessments, but we really don't have an answer to the so what do we do now question. Without common assessments that are established school-wide, we can engage in conversations in the collaborative team meeting structure and have follow-up actions, but sometimes we can miss students. Without having assessments as a screen to flag which students we should be talking about, we may not have a common set of expectations or standards to guide us. There can be a lack of uniformity in determining which students are our priorities for receiving appropriate interventions. Finally, without the collaborative team meetings, which we really feel are essential for the success of this framework in schools, we lack a whole child mindset. We are not taking advantage of the multiple viewpoints offered by a diverse staff team or the ability to engage in collaborative problem solving. Really, we are relying upon data to make our decisions. We know in a school that isn't always what is best for kids. That is the collaborative response model in four minutes. We hope that it can provide an effective framework and guide the creation of school-wide structures to support the needs of all students. To find out more, visit our website as we continue to add resources and insights to support schools.